12 lakh rupees will offset the sectoral hit post demonetization that's the word coming in from Harshal Mehta, the CEO of Divan Housing. In an exclusive chat with CNBC TV 18's Nitya Balakrishnan, he says demand for home loans is expected to pick up in Q4 in rural India. Listen in. Rural markets, you know, or we would call it as urban markets, mm -hmm. are, are uh, they they uh, behave a bit differently than what you would see in the urban markets. Mm -hmm. And and uh, over there, the biggest thrust, which we believe will come through the new schemes which have been announced on the 9 lakh and the 12 lakh, with the interest subsidy of 4% and 3%, because in that segment, that 3% mm -hmm. that and 4% makes a sizable impact. And this can definitely will will lead to a flip in terms of how how uh, the urban markets sure. uh, behave with that and and uh, as we see that uh, coming in mm -hmm. uh, that will def will definitely lift up the sentiments because you anyway have a softer interest rate and add to it you know the interest subsidy which which comes in will definitely improve the sentiments in those markets. Mr. Matha, what is your outlook really on interest rates? Because like you mentioned, we are on a softening interest rate cycle. Is that likely to continue? And could that be, you know, the big boost that the sector is really looking for? See, uh, while, while on one hand interest rate uh, softening uh, definitely improves the sentiment, mm -hmm. well, we still believe that uh, interest rate is not the, the only mm -hmm. and all because uh, at least in the segment where we work, uh, more important for them is the loan quantum and the loan tenure and the loan eligibility of that. So you need to look at this holistically when mm -hmm. we look at this uh, uh, segment and we look at this uh, uh, sector uh, as to how it goes out to meet the requirements of the end consumer. But definitely we are in, in uh, the most interesting uh, times and, and uh, uh, it can only get better from here on. Well, the battle for Uttar Pradesh and Punjab